the last video that I made was about growing this red curry squash. Today we're going to cook it, so let's get to it. Welcome to my goat shed life, where I turn an abandoned old goat shed into a cozy tiny home because you can do anything you set your mind to and you can live your passion. Hey, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell, ding ling so you'll get notifications of future videos. Here it is, this beautiful red curry squash and my favorite chef's knife. I'm going to go ahead and cut a stem off. Ooh, it's a really pretty yellow color. And I'm going to... Ah. a lot of seeds inside and I may dry some of these and save them. I wonder if you could roast these seeds like you do pumpkin seeds. Be an interesting thing to do, roasted squash seeds. I'll have to look that up. I kind of feel like we should have cut the little bottom part off here too. I may go ahead and do that. Ah, it sits up real pretty. How about that? I think what I'm going to do is some smaller pieces so it won't take so long to cook. It sure is pretty. There we go. I kind of like that size. That's a great size right there. I got one more. This is probably going to be more than we will all eat. But this is our very first time trying red curry squash. As you can see, I had to change bowls. The other one was too small. This is about how many seeds and stuff came out. And I will save some of those seeds. If anybody would like to have some seeds, just email me your address and I will do the best I can to send some out to y'all. And that way you guys can try growing red curry squash too. I'm telling you, make sure you got lots of room. That's a big old pile of squash we got there. I put some foil in a baking pan and I'm gonna roast this in the oven. It almost looks like a cantaloupe. But we wouldn't be cooking cantaloupe, right? No. All on there nice and flat. So they can roast evenly. I have the oven preheating at 350 degrees. That's a bit of a sweet taste. There they are on the pan, as you can see. I've melted together half a stick of butter about a quarter cup of olive oil and I just kind of want to drizzle it on here and I'm going to add some of this Hawaiian black salt to it. I'm going to leave it pretty plain like this and pop it into the oven. This has been in the oven at 350 for about 25 minutes. It'll probably stand to be cooked a little bit more. I'm going to flip them over and put them back in for another few minutes. They're starting to soften up quite a lot. I'm going to put about a quarter cup of brown sugar. I'm just going to sprinkle it very lightly on the squash. The squash already has kind of a sweet taste. It's not a lot. Brown sugar, just a little bit. I'm going to throw it back in the oven for another 10 minutes or so. We'll see what we get. There they are. The, you can see. So here it is on the plate, the red curry squash. If any of you have a recipe for red curry squash, I would certainly love to have it because I got plenty of this stuff. Also, if any of you would like to have seeds, email me your address and I will see what I can do to send you some seeds. I'm not sure I ever want to grow this again. Um, if you haven't already, please watch the video on growing red curry squash that I'm going to put right up here. And um, you'll see its growing habits are insane. Mmm. Good stuff. And make a great soup.